this next entrepreneur started this program, a one man show. He's ending this program with a leadership team, multiple decks, a business plan, and more money in the bank. Please welcome Ali Kalu from Arin. Thank you. With a show of hands, how many of you crossed the bridge or went on a subway today? Almost all of you. We can all agree that civil infrastructure provides the foundation of our society to operate and thrive. Yet infrastructure around the globe is in terrible condition. US regulations requires annual assessment of all the 600,000 bridges that we have in the country. Still, 56,000 of those bridges are structurally deficient, with the most famous one being the Brooklyn Bridge here in New York. On a daily basis, more than 200 million people cross bridges at risk, and shockingly, there's a bridge failure once every three days. What you see in here is one of these failures in Minneapolis, which resulted in a hundreds of millions of dollars in costly settlements and injured hundreds of people. Current methods of inspection, assessment, and management of infrastructure is precarious and outdated. Engineers have to walk, climb, and use snooper truck to assess miles and miles of infrastructure, and then using their naked eyes, they have to detect damages and take notes on a piece of paper. Then, they have to go back in the office and go through decades of assessment reports and compare it with their findings to see if the asset is deteriorating or not. These poor and insufficient information feeds maintenance plans, and as a result of it, trillions of dollars of infrastructure budget are poorly spent, and people are getting killed. This problem is hitting the pockets of asset owners, engineering firms, and insurance companies. I'm Ali, CEO of Arn. We are solving this problem by using our patented technology. We are building a business-to-business -business software as a service platform to assess and manage infrastructure using computer vision, machine learning, and civil engineering. In a nutshell, we are building a digital health record of the asset, a digital health record. Our goal is to reduce the risk of infrastructure failure and its devastating consequences. Let me walk you through how our product actually works. First, our customer, first our software aggregates the data that the customer provides from drones, laser scanners, and other sensors from an asset such as this one which is a 60 meter long bridge. What you see in here is one of our projects in the Netherlands. Second, our platform can automatically build a high resolution 3D digital twin of the asset with unprecedented accuracy that, can, that is capable of capturing millimetric level details such as this crack that you can see in here. And all of this in here are the screenshots of the 3D model. Let me emphasize, these, these are not 2D photos. This is an actual, accurate 3D twin of the asset. Third, using artificial intelligence, our platform can automatically detect and quantify the severity of different damages. And we can do this for different materials and in different assets. And of course, all of this happens in 3D and in the context of the asset. And there's more. We have the capability to quantify the changes that happens in time in order to assess how a damage evolves and calculate the rate of deterioration to predict future structural changes. In other words, we are building a historical timeline of the condition of the asset. And finally, actionable insights. Our platform can provide data-driven maintenance and capital allocation plans in order to reduce the risk of infrastructure failure and optimize spending across the asset portfolio. In our case, data collection is as easy as taking photos with your iPhone. Everybody can do it, which makes our solution scalable. Now, instead of spending weeks going through the data to assess 
a, a condition of the asset, now the engineers can do it within a matter of hours. Now instead of having access to the asset once every year while they're at the site, now they can get back to it virtually as many times as they want from wherever they are around the globe. Our product is sticky because around the world it's mandatory to conduct assessment of infrastructure systems within decades of their service life. Our technology is hard to replicate and is backed by 10 years of R&D and three patents that we have. Our clients have used our technology to assess different types of assets around the globe, from bridges in Alaska, to dams in Maryland, to building facades in New Jersey. In all of these cases, using our technology, they're able to reduce the time of assessment and analysis by up to 50%, saving them thousands of dollars, and more importantly, saving them millions of dollars from litigation costs and poorly spent budgets. Our budget markets are building facades and bridges, which account for more than $20 billion in the US. Worth emphasizing that we are planning to optimize the overall $3 trillion that we spend on infrastructure globally. Our team has conducted proofs of concept, and since joining Metaprop, we closed contracts in both North America and in Europe. We are working closely with global asset owners and engineering firms, such as the Dutch Ministry of Infrastructure, which owns thousands of assets, and a major global industrial group who has access to 10% of all the bridges around the world. We started in 2019, and we are on track to bring thousands of assets to our platform in the near future. Our team has PhDs in computer vision, machine learning, and civil engineering, and has worked at top tier consulting engineering and management consulting firms. We are proud to have Cornell Tech Jacobs Institute, Metaprop, and National Science Foundation as our investors and advisors. We are passionate about pushing the boundaries in order to improve the safety and resiliency of infrastructure assets around the globe. I invite all of you to join us in our mission. We are RN, and thank you so much.